Alright, so S18. They obviously have a few battery issues. Um, the cells in the front can jiggle and uh, disconnect, like the nickel strips can break. There's also some BMS problems sometimes. This is the first I've ever encountered a BMS problem, but um, it's happened, I've heard it, heard it happen. So um, this is a, a fix for one of the problems. Um, so this pack is supposed to be about 40 volts. It's floating around 30-ish. And uh, yeah, so as a multimeter straight in. Um, I know the cells are okay, because I touched the positive and the negative with the multimeter, and it said 40 volts. So that's good, it's supposed to be 40 volts. Because it's not fully charged, but it's not, it's not dead. So um, with the, uh, the multimeter, what you want to do is you want to set it so it goes to this one here. The one that, um, it's like continuity or whatever it's called. The one that goes beep. So that beeps. Alright, and then you want to touch one side of the fuse. And then the other side of the fuse. And if there's no beep these little tiny fuses are gone. So um, these little Z fuses, if I can get it to focus. See how it says F1, F2, that stands for fuse, and they are fuses. Each one of these is 20 amps. So what you need is, this is what I, I fixed it with. I used um, just the big old fashioned -y car ones at a 30 amp one. So um, ideally, they're 20 amps each, so you need 60 amps. So I got the little car ones. Well, you can kind of just like lay them flat down right there, just across. And same with the other one. Unless you can get these actual Z fuses. I found they're very hard to unsolder and actually remove. It's a lot easier just doing this and it is obviously the same rating because you are going 60 amps and that is four, uh, three times 20. So that is also 60 amps. So you can just connect it like that. And um, so say when I put it back to voltage, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this with one hand, but let's see. So I'll stuff that in there. And there. Alright, so 35, still not working. If I connect that properly, like that, look at that, 40 volts. So it is blown fuses. So when I disconnect, 35. 40, all right, so that is the uh, the fix. And I tested it with this one because I didn't have those other fuses and connected it into the unicycle and it worked with just the two backpacks. Just these ones, that one and the one on the other side. The other one's fine, it's just this one. It's blown its fuses somehow. So um, yeah, that's a, that's a quick and easy fix. You don't have to remove these ones. It is uh, challenging to remove because one of the front packs is broken and the, uh, the fuse actually pops. I've got it in here somewhere around here. I don't know where it is, but um, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, I, um, I tried removing the fuse and like I had to break it to remove it. And yeah, it's just, it's really tricky to desolder them. Um, so I definitely suggest Trado out, just top some solder up the top and then connect a fuse straight to it because you're still ready for the same same amperage, if it blows, it blows, and then if it does blow, it is super obvious, because it'll be laying like that, and you can see straight through and see that it's blown. It's very rare for these to blow, because they have overcurrent and um, over discharge and all that protection, so something has to go pretty wrong for it to blow, but if it does blow, you can just fix it with a dollar something fuse or 75 cent fuse. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend that. Hope it helps, and gets your unicycle back on the road with full range. So if it helps, 40 volts. This is what mine looks like. It's a bit ugly. I just want to stay away from this positive, even though I'm pretty sure that positive is that positive. So it's on the other side of the fuse anyway, so it shouldn't really matter if you do touch the two. But, you know, it's better not to have things touching if they're not supposed to. So yeah, that's how it looks for me. It's uh, pretty well soldered on there. And if you can tell, it doesn't raise the height too much over the chips, but you still want to put this over. I'll probably put a bit of tape. Oh, you know what? I'll probably just go straight this because it's a fiberglass material. And yeah, you'll find that it still slides in quite nicely into its case without having any additional pressure on the board. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is how it fits, even with the additional fuse, nice and easy. It's no resistance at all. So if you've got resistance, maybe um, see if you can lower those fuses down a little bit because there shouldn't be any resistance. Like it's super easy to push it in and out. So yeah, 
nice and easy and then put the top on and put it back together and I hope this helps uh, like and subscribe and all that jazz and um, yeah I'll try to put stuff up as they break and uh, see if I can fix it